What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Angel A. Cross. I haven't really, what you call it, been on YouTube that much. I've been trying to balance <laughs> gaming. There's a whole bunch of games I've been playing. Uh, I've definitely been jumping on PC gaming as well, especially since I've uh, fixed my PC. So now it's running the games better. I'm playing games regularly at like 1440 or 1600p. And... Um, uh, 60 FPS on my monitor, but on my TV that I use for my next-gen consoles I did plug it in there and the only game that really took advantage of the 120 FPS was the GTA 5 game But I'm not getting into that right now. I'm getting into why the hell are y'all attacking Xbox about their prices? chill out, bro <laughs> Chill out and really do the math Okay, their prices are a pretty good average when it comes to next gen SSDs, when it comes to the reading and writing speed, the downloading speed, all that bullshit that you guys know about that I don't, okay? Xbox, and finally, I'm so glad they're coming out with different sizes because in the beginning, they did show that there was gonna be different sizes, but it wasn't released day one. They just released the one terabyte, but I'm not even gonna argue about, you know, their, uh, their calendar and when they're releasing certain accessories and all stuff. Not even going to get into that. But now we're getting the 512 gigabyte for, you know, the cost friendly. And we still have the one terabyte. And then we're getting the two terabyte in December, right when Halo comes out. Um, and I don't know. I don't I don't see what's wrong with the price here. I, I definitely don't see what, what's wrong with the price. Okay. 220. Y'all been bitching and complaining about the one terabyte being 220. Okay, and me, the only thing I was bitching about was the extra 20 bucks. I was like, come on. I can see if it was 1.2 terabytes, <laughs> but the extra 20 bucks for a one terabyte, I'll just wait for Target or Walmart to have like a, a sale or something like that, or for me getting a gift card somewhere where they sell them, then I'll probably get it because that extra, that's, that's, it's just awkward to me. It's just, it's just bothersome. But we have the 512 gigabyte one, not the 500 gigabyte. We get 512 gigabytes for 140. That's not bad. That I can, I I can do that. That that's not bad at all. That's very cost friendly. You know, it's not the price of it's not half the price of a next gen console. So I'm digging that one. I'll most likely probably get that one. But to be honest, I'll probably just go for the even one terabyte. And, you know, I know a lot of other uh, um, sources out there for the PS5 storage are just 500 even, but Xbox decided to go the extra 12 gigabytes on there. And I really don't care about that because there's a lot of next gen titles on Xbox Game Pass, uh, little indie games and stuff that are like 12 gigabytes and below. So I feel like that's for that specifically. Or if you can use this thing, I don't know if you can, don't take my word for it, but if you can use uh, these Seagate cards to um, make it the default for your media when it comes to your screenshots and your save clips, uh, I don't know if you can, don't take my word for it, because um, I don't own one yet, so I really can't give you the any feedback on the review. But look, the cheap one is 140, the mid one, the standard, is 220 and then the two terabyte is where is it at 399 bucks now i know that's kind of like whoa like why wasn't it just 320 <laughs> just add another 100 to the 220 um but hey i'm not gonna argue with xbox i'm not gonna argue with the marketing team the design team and all that stuff because two terabytes right now is a lot especially for a next gen performance when it comes to ssds um, because it's really not necessary right now. There's not a lot of um, titles for next gen. I mean, there are next gen titles, but there's just not a lot for the necessity for you to have that much storage. So, I mean, unless you literally are that person that literally buys every single game, no matter how shitty it is, you're like, I gotta buy that game because it just came out, gotta buy that game because it just came out, then, you know, do you, this is for you. But I feel like this and lower, you're fine. But let's just compare prices. And I'm not going to go to every website. I'm just going to check 
Best Buy, uh, the major retailer that everyone has access to. Um, I'm not gonna check like Walmart or nothing like that. I'm gonna check Best Buy, especially since Best Buy is having some sale prices when it comes to Gen 4 and VMEs. So boom, we're gonna jump right into here. I did click the Gen 4, so we'll make sure we're not uh, touching any of the what you call it's. And um, yeah, let's just focus on these babies right here. Now off the bat, I already know that you guys with PS5s are already looking at the 980 Pro and it is highly recommended. And right now at Best Buy, it is on sale. It is $40 off. Now that right there at $189.99 is pretty good. It's one terabyte. It beats the price for the one terabyte for the Xbox. So do you when it comes to this. But let me remind you that the PS5 expanded storage option is in beta stage and PlayStation or Sony being the dickheads that they are did say in black and white that after it's out of beta they cannot confirm that or nor they are they responsible if your internal storage your NVMe and stuff does not work anymore it, it is no longer compatible okay <clears throat> dickhead move but we're not going to jump into that. That's another video. So for one terabyte, you're looking at 190 bucks. So that beats the Xbox One terabyte. 500 gigabyte, you're looking at 129.99. Again, that beats the what you call, but that only beats their price because Best Buy is having a sale. Okay, for the one terabyte, you're getting 40 bucks off. The original price was 229.99. Okay, it's 230. So it's over the Xbox price by 10 bucks. Same thing with the 500 gigabyte one. The original price is 150 over the price again of Xbox for 10 bucks. But the only reason why it's under the price of Xbox right now because it's on sale because of Best Buy. All right, and then the two terabyte one is 384.99. Okay, the original price was 430. But because Best Buy, they're having a sale, it's beating the price of the two terabyte for the xbox so only reason why the samsung is beating the price of the wish call is not because of samsung it's because of best buy having a sale so all well even the nope the 250 is not on sale and i can see why it's already freaking cheap they take any more off than they're losing money but the other three options are on sale now look at this best buy has a PS5 ready tag. You know what that means? That means you do not have to buy a heat sink like you do for the 980 Pro. You do not have to buy a heat sink. It is heat sink ready. It is plug and play ready. All you gotta do is open up your PS5, plug it in carefully and correctly, turn the PS5 on, format it, and it's good to go. You don't have to worry about buying an external heat sink. WD Black is a very good brand. Okay, and that heat sink does fit into the PS5. Otherwise, it wouldn't have a PS5 ready logo on it. And I've seen plenty of streamers and PS5 owners use this specific NVMe SSD. So they're good to go. The two terabyte, no, this is one terabyte for $269.99. That's way above the Xbox One terabyte. All right. And the 500 gigabyte one is on sale for $129.99. It is 40 bucks off. And what is the original price without this Best Buy sale? It is 170 bucks. But keep that in mind that these are not only a good brand, but it's PS5 ready. So you do not have to buy an external heatsink. And you don't have to buy a heatsink for the Xbox ones either. <laughs> Just letting you know. The two terabyte one is not on sale. It is $499.99. It is 500 bucks. It is beating, well not beating, it is above the two terabyte Xbox option by $100. So keep that in mind. Now this guy right here, this is a two terabyte for $239.99. And then the one terabyte is $124.99. That seems too good to be true. And that's because it is. 
Now, I don't know the specific size of this heat sink, but this heat sink looks pretty freaking big. And don't take my word for it, look up the brand on YouTube, and I'm pretty sure someone tried the Coarse Air um, heat sink and SSD, and this did not allow for you to put that heat shield back on to the PS5, and they strongly tell you to put the shield back on to not just put the NVMe in and then let it uh, be just no you have to put the shield back on they highly recommend it they are not responsible if any damage comes to your PS5 so this is too good to be true not only because the size looks pretty big that's what she said but let's look at the specs the specs are under the PS5 recommendations supposed to be 500, uh, 5, uh, 5,000 megabytes, and I'm seeing, no, I don't care, honey, get off my screen. It's 400, it's 4,950. So I know you're thinking, man, that's just 50 less, man. But, you know, unless this product is on YouTube right now and someone has put it in their PS5 and has shown that it's compatible. I would not risk it. I wouldn't risk it. Because then you're going to get that big pop-up that says, hey, we can't format this. It's not compatible. So I wouldn't risk it, G. The Fire Cuda has that nice, beautiful PS5 ready tag on it. It does come with the heat sink. It is ready to go in the PS5 when you open it up and plug the baby in and format it. It is on a sale right now that ends in eight hours. It is only $13 off of the sale. I know that's not much, but hey, it saves you a couple bucks. Right now, the one terabyte is $246.99. Again, it's still above that Xbox price, still above what Xbox is asking you for one terabyte. And then when the sale is over, it is back to $260. And that is for the one terabyte, and it's PS5 ready, heat sink and all. The same one, same model, just different size. Two terabytes is five hundred and nine dollars. It's five ten for just two terabytes, just two. Okay. The what is this? This is four terabytes. I don't even think four terabytes is compatible for the PS5 right now. All right, we're still in the beta stage of the expanded storage. So we're not gonna even look at that. That's freaking two PS5 prices right there. Where's the little one at? Where is the little one? This one is another coarse air. It literally looks like the same damn heat sink, just painted black. Okay, but again, it's got that nice price under 200 bucks for one terabyte. Ooh, and the what you call it, and even though it's cheaper than the two terabyte for the Xbox, um, that's still freaking a lot. <laughs> I feel like if it's one terabyte, stay in the hundred bucks. If it's two terabytes, stay in the two hundred bucks. Uh, but here we go. The five hundred gigabyte Fire Cuda PS5 Ready is one forty nine ninety nine. It is ten bucks off from its original price. Original price is not bad. Like I said the Fire Cudas are on sale, but they're not, it's not a huge sale. It's not $40 off like the WD Blacks. But if you really are, what you call it, kind of stuck in between, if I should get the WD Blacks or the Fire Cudas, I'm gonna put your thoughts to rest right now because the specifications on the Fire Cuda are actually very, very good. Look, this is the 500 gigabyte one and it's, 2000 above the recommendation for uh, what Xbox is expecting you. But I think I think the reading and writing speeds are different on the different size ones. So let's go to the one terabyte. Come on, one terabyte. Specifications. Yeah, see, it's different. So if you're getting the one terabyte or above, you're getting the seven, you're getting the 7,300 megabytes per second. That's the data transfer, that's the reading speed, and writing speed does not matter for PS5. It really doesn't. But if you care about the writing speed for some reason, it's 6,000 megabytes. 
And remember, this is the one terabyte for $246.99 on sale at Best Buy. All right? Remember that number, 246, 246. Now we go to the WD Black, one terabyte, $269.99. It is not on sale. But like I said, it's PS5 ready, it has a heat sink. Now let's look at the specs. Not the overview, the specs. Look. It is under fire CUDA, the one terabyte one, not the 500 one. It is under fire CUDA when it comes to the data transfer and the reading speed by 300. Now 300 is not a killer, but if you want to get more bang for your buck, and since the fire CUDA is on sale and cheaper than the WD Black, then you might as well pay less for more power. And even the writing speed, which again does not matter for the PS5, the writing speed is only at 5300 instead of the 6000. So, like I said, more bang for less buck, for less money. Um, I would go with the Farakuda, especially while it's still on sale at Best Buy and it's in stock. It's it's not sold out. That's the wrong one. One terabyte Farakuda, PS5 ready, heatsink and all, 246.99 on sale at Best Buy. Okay, Best Buy. It's cheaper yet more powerful than the WD Black, and it is PS5 ready. So you don't gotta look on YouTube to see is it compatible? Yes, it's compatible. Why the hell would they not? Why would they, why would they put this on here if it's not compatible? But again, that's just the one terabyte price. When Xbox One terabyte price is literally two twenty, and then the two terabyte price. This is two terabytes for a Fire Cuda. This is their fucking price, $500. Xbox is asking for $400. The WD Black, let me see if I can... Um, does it even come, does it even go that high? Okay, two terabyte. For the WD Black is again $500. In the Xbox, all they're asking is for $400. So they're beating their competitors, especially the good competitors. I mean, Seagate is a good brand, don't get me wrong. But WD Black and Fire Cuda, they're, 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 they're in the top five as well. But look, they're beating their competitors by 100 bucks. So again, I don't wanna hear any more bitching and complaining. Stop attacking Xbox. Cause it's it's the fanboys. It's the it's the it's the PlayStation fanboys. Y'all y'all attacking Xbox's prices, but y'all ignoring this shit. So unless y'all got links or hookups to where you get these motherfuckers for half the price, right? Show me the proof, and then I'll take this fucking video down. <laughs> but until then, stop attacking Xbox. Grow the fuck up. All right. Peace out. See you in the next one.